Welcome back. It's great to have your company here on Business Weekend. Now, anybody who moves things in or out of our country will understand the rising cost of freight and a shortage of key materials. So we thought, how hard could it be? So we sent Ed Boyd to investigate with a camper trailer. At its heart, the Eagle Outdoors camper trailer is a very simple product. The Eagle Outdoors Blue Water Campers Lachlan Mark II model retails for around $39,000. The trailer's designed for going off-road, making an outback trip all that more luxurious. But to explain the global supply chain problems, Business Weekend decided to deconstruct the Lachlan Mark II camper trailer. The journey starts in China, where the chassis is built in Rongcheng City. Once it reaches the factory floor in Victoria, the suspension, brakes and wheels are added. The mechanical and electrical systems are then installed. This includes the batteries from Western Australia, water pump from China, hot water system from Germany, shower from the UK and major electrical components from Victoria. The cooking stove from the UK is then added, followed by the canvas, which is made in Australia and then sent to Fiji, where it is cut and stitched before being sent back for installation. The trailer is then put through a series of tests before it's ready to be handed over. The whole assembly process takes about three weeks. These 11 parts travelled about 78,700 kilometres, and there are plenty more which make up the full trailer. And here's the finished product, ready for action. Every um, camper we have, we take out on the road and do a weekend away with a few of the key leaders that to give them a hardcore testing. And, and honestly, aside from that, we get a lot of feedback from our customer base. We really work hand in hand. Our customers are often getting the time to go camping while we've got to keep making and building. Eagle Outdoors was founded in 1978 and has grown slowly. David's father started the business. It now has close to 200 workers at its factories in Pakenham, Victoria and Fiji. But like so many other manufacturers, supply chain costs and constraints can hurt, even though product demand is high. We were at one stage, we used to try and have stock on hand and be able to supply people campers within a week or two. That, that's gone uh, now. We're basically, it's moved from, you know, keep going one month, two month, three month, and, and typically we're around six months you know, depending on the models and whether you get lucky with a, a model we're clearing, though typically it's six months to nine months is our current demand. The Suez Canal blockage in March kick-started the delays, but they have been exacerbated by COVID infections at ports, causing snap shutdowns while the facilities are deep cleaned. Shipping delays have, have been the major thing that's created some issues as far as delays and builds of campus are concerned. To counter these problems, Eagle Outdoors tweaked its strategy when ordering parts from major suppliers. We used to be able to order them as we got an order. We now have to be smarter in the way we do it and order significantly more in advance. So some of our warnings that we go on our hybrid campers, we have to order those four or five months in advance. So we're anticipating the, the build or the growth of that product or, or those sales happening uh, well and truly in advance. So, um, as far as we're going with, with our customers and our suppliers, our suppliers mainly, we're ordering 12 months forward orders. Lithium batteries have been in high demand all over the world, thanks to increased numbers of electric vehicles, and that's caused serious supply chain issues. Lithium's been a real problem throughout the country. It doesn't matter whether it's EV power or any other lithium battery, there's been a real delay on those. So uh, we're starting to get back into supply. We've had some delays for the last three months. We're starting to get supplies now at the end of September and beginning of October. The products which suffered the longest delays are from Europe. The Thetford stove, Bullfinch shower and Truma hot water system. The UK has been big, so the Bullfinch products and, and any of the products out of Europe have been a real issue for us. Um, and, the, and the main reason for that is, is, is the last six months with their huge coronavirus and shutdowns, so manufacturing was shut down in the UK and a lot of Europe, so we struggled with a lot of those parts. And also freight comes out as well. Arguably one of the most important parts of the camper is the canvas. It's made in Newcastle, sent to Eagle's own factory in Fiji and then returned to Melbourne. But surprisingly, this part of the supply chain has held up pretty well. We've only had some delays in manufacture out of Fiji to a recent significant lockdowns out of Fiji with their COVID crisis. So um, we haven't had any delays other than that lockdown. So, so canvas and zips haven't really been an issue.
With COVID cancelling overseas holidays, domestic trips have been the only option. And camping has become very popular, especially in COVID-free WA. It's always been the East Coast for us, uh, though really with WA having no lockdowns, we've found that WA is really very prominent as a state. And, and you know, it's, it's starting to get a, a like 50% of our sales when it used to be only about 20 or 30%. So, uh, but typically it's been New South Wales would be the number one, Queensland and then Victoria. Lockdowns have also made it difficult to deliver the trailer to customers and teach them how to use it. We've actually been doing some deliveries and be doing video handover calls and, and linking up via messenger video, via um, FaceTime videos or Skype and all sorts of different ways we're trying to find so that we can deliver and get the customers to do it. But